AITA for possible making two couples separate after sharing what I what I was told about male strippers. Trigger warnings. Domestic violence. Okay I don't think I'm the AH in this situation, but it's literally about half slash half with the people I know in real life that know the situation. I want to see other perspectives on this from people who have no attachment to it. This past weekend I went to a UFC fight watch party with this girl I've been talking to for a couple of weeks. Let's call her P. We went to high school together 10 years ago, but didn't really talk that much during that time. But P and I had many mutual friends. We got reacquainted a couple of weeks ago and have hung out a few times since. Well like I had stated before, back in high school, we had a lot of mutual friends. And a lot of those friends, P still is pretty close to till this day. And the vast majority of them, I haven't spoken to in about a decade. So pretty much since high school. After I graduated I left the state to play college football. And I didn't really come back home that often when I was in college. So I only kept in touch with my very close group of friends from back home. So there is a lot of people who I was pretty good friends with in high school, still have on social media, still wish the best for them, but have not seen and or spoken to in about a decade. I say that to say, P had asked me if I could come with her to the watch party the day before the party. I like to watch fights with my friends and her family, so I was going to say no. Especially since she said the host house belonged to one of her friends, who I didn't know. But then she told me that that friend was the wife of a guy I was friends with in high school and hadn't seen in a long time. She said she let them know that we had been seeing each other and they told her that she better bring me. Then she names other people who would be going. A lot of names of people I hadn't seen since high school and used to be pretty cool with. So that convinced me to go. I'm usually pretty introverted in houses I don't know, but when we showed up to the house, I saw a lot of people anew. So since I was familiar with a lot of them, that introverted feeling immediately went away and I felt really comfortable and really enjoyed watching the fight with them, drinking, and catching up. The night was going really well. I was having fun. P is having fun. All vibes are good, until the incident. I was inside the house catching having a conversation. Then I noticed P was outside amongst of a group of people out there sitting and talking. So I decided to go join. I walk out there and grab a chair. They are in the middle of a conversation, but I'm not even paying attention to what they are saying. I am just paying attention to grabbing the chair and placing it next to P so I can sit. There's about 15 people in this circle. I only knew about maybe half of the people in this group. As I'm about up sit down, the first words that I actually hear in this conversation was someone say something like, don't worry. Most male strippers are homosexual, I did not know any of the context of the conversation. But when I heard that I instantly responded with something like, no they are not. They be having sex with so many of the girls. After saying that I instantly went into why I know this. I have an older brother who is five years older. He had a best friend who was a really muscular dude who did male stripping for a little after they graduated high school. Let's call him M. M was a pretty popular male stripper from what I heard. I know he was once featured in a pretty popular magazine. He was well known in my city even before the stripping. M went to my high school too, but before I went there. And I didn't think anyone there would know who he is besides a guy that was there who I was close to in high school. Let's call him X. X came over to my house a lot back in high school and he met M a couple of times. Well M did a lot of bachelorette parties. And he would always tell me about it. And sometimes X when he was there. M often said that if he ever got married, his girl would never be allowed to have male strippers at her bachelorette party. M said that at least 85% of the parties he does, the bride-to-be cheats. Often with multiple men. M said it was really rare that the bride-to-be didn't cheat to at least some degree. And he had proof of these claims with pictures slash videos on his phone. And would not hesitate to show us. He said because of that, he would never allow it because he knows how it goes. I explained all of this to the group and even had X come outside to confirm that that's what M told us and showed us proof. After I finished talking, it was quiet for a moment and about three people walked off, none of which I knew personally. And it suddenly felt awkward. I didn't understand. Then P started telling me that prior to me sitting down, they were trying to make one of the guys in the circle feel better. Let's call the guy H. H was going to get married the next month. Him and his fiancé were going to do their bachelor slash bachelorette parties a week apart. H's fiancé was currently on her bachelorette weekend in another city. And H was aware that they were going to have male strippers come to their Airbnb at some point. H had told them that initially he didn't care and wanted her to enjoy it, but had started becoming insecure about it. So the group was in the middle of trying to comfort him prior to me sitting down. I was not aware of any of this until after. I felt a little bad, but I also felt like I didn't tell a lie. Everything I said was from a direct source that lived it. 
But I do get I shouldn't had said it right there and I most likely wouldn't have if I knew the context of the conversation prior to sitting down. H was one of the three people who left the group after I spoke about what M and told me and X. The other two people that walked off, I and they are older than me. Well turns out they also attended my high school and are about six years older. And have been together since high school and got married shortly after. Both of them knew who M was. Turns out the girl had a bachelorette party, with male strippers coming to a house for her, and M was one of them. And her man knew that he was one of the strippers and at the time found it funny because they didn't think one of the strippers would be someone they went to school with. Apparently at the time they both laughed about it, and the girl claimed she didn't get a dance from him because when he tried, she couldn't stop laughing. Well after hearing what I said, apparently the dude got angry. Especially since I said M often provided proof to those claims, and had showed me an ex. So that couple walked off and started arguing inside. I could see that they were arguing through the glass door, but we didn't know it was because of what I said initially. But after I found out, I thought it would be better for me to leave. And it was already getting late, so me and P left. She was mad at me and told me I shouldn't have said all that. After that night I asked about 12 of the people that were there individually if they thought I was AH in this situation. I asked both men and women. It's literally split in half. Some say yes. Others say no. And some of the people who I didn't know there are pretty angry at me. Including all three that walked off. And to make matters worse, I spoke to M about what happened. I hadn't talked to him a long time. He lives outside of the state. But I have him on social media. I told him the story, knowing he would find it funny. After I told, M said he knew who the woman was. He said he only did one bachelorette party for someone he went to high school with. He proceeds to say her name correctly and describe her correctly. And then gives me details about that party. She clearly lied to her husband. And definitely contributed to that 85% stat. He even said he might still have video of that night on an old phone. But I'm not going to say anything about it anymore. I do not want to get involved. I don't know either of them and have no obligation to interfere in that relationship at all. Especially more than I already have. So am I the AH in this situation? How would y'all have handled this? Edit, the reason I said two relationships is because apparently H was really impacted with what I said. And also apparently seen slash heard some suspicious things about the trip. What he saw or heard, I do not know. P was the one telling me and she didn't know either. And due to this, the wedding might be off. Some of them think I made him paranoid and to blame for this. Comment. NTA. I thought that the male stripper stuff was pretty common knowledge tbh asterisk. Comments from OP about the husband. I thought about telling him. But decided not to. I don't have physical proof. I might be able to get it but I wouldn't do all that. Especially for some people I don't know at all and will probably not see again. So I'm just staying out of it. If he finds out he finds out. If not, let them go about their marriage. Comments from OP about the male stripper he knows. Yeah I agree. M told us multiple times that it was rare that the bride-to-be didn't cheat to some degree. He said they didn't always have sex with one of the strippers. That they would have sex, but some would only do oral, some would only let oral be performed on them, some would only make out, and some would only jerk them. But any one of those things is cheating on my eyes. I don't care if you only did it for two seconds. All that is cheating. He said it was very rare that she didn't do something. He also said sometimes they would do everything. And after they finished they would snap back into reality and start crying and stuff because they realize now what they just did. All that was really eye-opening to me when he was telling me. Not only told me, but showed me multiple examples of everything he said. They were always recording. I would never let my fiancé get male strippers. Update. Not going to lie, was not planning on doing an update on this story. Was not really looking to tell a story. Just wanted other perspectives. But a lot of people asked for it. And yeah it gets pretty dark. But I'll still tell it. Trigger warning. Well I actually have an update on both of these couples. Both are bad. But I'll start with the lighter one first. H did end up calling off the wedding. So apparently the stuff I said about the male strippers did really mess with his head and made him start digging for stuff. I guess he went through his girl's phone without her knowing when she got back from her weekend, which apparently prior to this is something he has never done. His girl had a second Snapchat account that he didn't know about. Guess she didn't log out of it before H went through it. Apparently the only chat on it was a group chat with her friends. But on that snap she had a bunch of older sex tapes saved. And she had a bunch of videos saved in the group chat from their weekend. 
and the videos showed her not only hooking up with a male stripper, but also had her hooking up with at least two other men during bachelorette party weekend. Apparently he also was able to read chats where she said something along the lines of her feeling bad about how crazy she went that weekend, but she is glad she got to get her last urges out and is now ready to settle into her married life. He called off the wedding and all that. So in this case, I'm glad Duke heard what I said because I saved him. His girl went to another city and really got her shit off. So good thing he caught that before making it official. Now to the married couple. I didn't name them last time but I will hear just to tell the story better. I know some of y'all didn't like the letters for names, so I'll name them John and Amy, from the not original their real post names. where I told the story, I know some said that I should have read the room and all that. Not only was it hard because it was dark out and I had been drinking, but I also had people there asking questions and giving input in the middle of telling it. So I didn't get an indication about me doing too much at the time. John was one of the people who asked me a couple of questions. So John and Amy were lapped up when they were sitting out there. Amy sitting on John of course. Apparently when I started going into describing M in the middle of my story and I said his real life name, John felt Amy start to tense up and feel uncomfortable. M's real name is pretty unique. In America at least. I've never seen anyone else with that name. So when I said it, it was very clear who I was talking about. And like I said, they went to high school with him and both knew who he was, which I knew nothing of at that point. And John knew Amy had M as a male stripper at her party. Well I guess the more detailed and graphic I got about what M told me, in terms of the sexual acts, how rare it was that it didn't happen, and that he often recorded everything, the more uncomfortable John felt Amy getting. That had John get really suspicious and that's where he asked me a couple of questions in the middle of my story. I forgot what he asked. But it was nothing crazy. I think one of them was did M send me the videos or just show me on his phone. Which he only showed me on his phone. I'm guessing Amy continued to get more uncomfortable and he felt it and got really suspicious, and that's where he walked off. Then the other two walked off also. So now fast forward to this past week. This is how I heard it played out. I don't know John or Amy. I know John's younger brother, but I haven't spoken to him since the day I asked him if I was a AH for telling that story to them, which he said I wasn't. P talks to John's brother but also is close with that group of friends. That is her close friends. I got this info from P, which is info that was regurgitated within the group. So I'm not sure on the accuracy of how it all played out, but I would guess it's pretty high. But the actual incident itself did happen 100%. I know because it's documented now. John and Amy argued inside the house and I'm guessing all the way home. Amy assured John that nothing happened with M or any of the other male strippers there. She also stayed with the story that she only got a partial lap dance from M, but had to stop because she couldn't stop laughing. Apparently John didn't fully buy it and came up with a plan to make her admit it. Earlier this week John confronted Amy about it again, but this time stated that he knew the facts already so for her to come clean and be honest with him. John told Amy that he had been in contact with me and I also put him in contact with M and from that he knew the entire story and that M still had that evidence. I can confirm that neither me or M have spoken to him. I haven't spoken to him since that night. M said he's never spoken to dude in his life. So I guess Amy felt like she was caught and admitted to everything that night. She told John this made John snap. He beat her. Beat her bad. She ended up going to the hospital. I believe she's still in the hospital today. And apparently the only thing that made him stop was his kids running in the room and attempting to shield their mom. John of course was arrested. Charged him with attempted murder and a few other charges. So you can see it was a pretty severe incident of abuse. In his mugshot that they posted online, he has visible scratches, bumps, and bruises on his face, so I guess they were fighting hard before he overpowered her. I don't know why John said he had spoken to me. Maybe he knew that would work and get her to admit it. As far as I know, no one has seen this Reddit post from that night. P knows about it now, but I showed her after the fact when she was telling me about all this that I'm posting. She thinks that John might have seen the post and knew she did it, so came up with a way to make her admit it. But P says that she's never used Reddit, and has never heard any of the people in that friend group talk about using Reddit. But she also doesn't really know John and Amy. So I guess it is possible that John saw my original post. I'm not sure. But P said she's not going to tell anyone about the post. So yeah that's the updates. I didn't feel like an AH before, but now I really do. I didn't want to lead to anyone getting beat, getting hospitalized, and getting arrested. I really do feel like shit about the whole situation now. I doubt I'll update this again. I don't see what else would even have to be known. Now I got to deal with this shit in my conscious and psyche. Comments
you shared a story without knowing the connections involved. John's abusive actions were his own choice, not your fault. You feel guilty, but remember, you didn't cause this. O.P. replying to a comment about if the husband had a history of DV. Yeah I don't know about any prior instances work them. No one has some anything about them having this history. And I know they have multiple kids. I think two of them are in their teens. But yeah it's just a fucked up situation. And yeah that's what I tried to tell myself too, but I still feel fucked up over it. And actually I live in a large city. Really big city. That's why I would have never assumed that someone there would have a connection to M. If I knew John and Amy were the older siblings of someone there and went to our high school too, I probably wouldn't have used M's real name.